but we are going to be finishing the 13.2 note story problem style here with 21 and 23 because we actually need to be able to do an application with some of these things. So, 21. Find the degree and radian measure. So we're going to find two answers. Of the angle through which the hour hand on a clock rotates from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now, before you go into a panic on this, let's think about a little common sense here. So, hmm. We have a clock. Okay. Oh, man, I remember this. We have a clock. I'll even do some labels on here. So I'm kind of thinking about this. Okay. So a clock, like the one on the wall, is a circle. How many degrees is that all the way around? Okay, 360. How many hours is there? 12. Okay, 12. So each hour represents a 30 degree angle. Okay, so like if I was looking from like noon to three, you're like, well, it forms a right angle, which would make sense because that's three hours times 30 would be 90 degrees. Okay? If I went to 6 o'clock, it would be a vertical line. It would be 180 degrees. It's a straight line. So when we're trying to do it for this one, okay, 5 a.m. to 10 p.m., a couple of questions. One, how many hours is that? Five. From 5 a.m. to 10 p.m.? Fifteen. Okay, let's do this in pieces. <laughs> Since we're having some, some issues here, let's say we were going from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. How many hours? hours? Okay, that's 12 hours. 18 hours. So then from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. is an additional how many hours? 12. Oh, Lord. Five, thank you. Okay. Oh, I didn't think this was going to be this complex. So... We have 17 hours that we're looking at, okay. and 30 degrees per hour. But when I'm going clockwise, which is what I'm doing here, what do I know about my angle measure from what we were doing yesterday? It's negative. So it's times negative 30 degrees per hour, because we're going clockwise instead of counter. So it would be negative 510 degrees, okay? That would be my measurement, my angle through which the hour hand would keep rotating over that time period. Wait, did I just do something silly? Yeah. Yes, I did. What a goofball. What did I just do silly? Uh, 360. Maybe I didn't do something silly. Why am I feeling like I did? I didn't do anything silly. I'm not a crazy nut. Oh, hardy, 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 hardy. What is the issue here? They're like, Hardy just did something silly and now he's trying to. No, I did this. I did something on purpose actually this time for Are once. Are you sure? Mm hmm. My glasses I would see and probably answer that. Let me, let me ask a question here. Okay. Because <coughs> I'm trying. To, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get some of you to think a little bit deeper on some of these things. When I talked about the 30 degrees per hour up at the top, okay, does it matter which hand of the clock is rotating? Yes. 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 Okay. So in this case, I wanted to put the delay and the pause in here to actually make us think for a second. With the hour hand, okay, your shorter hand, that's only going to make one full rotation every 12 hours, like we mentioned to here. What if that would have said minute hand instead? This would be a bigger number. This would be a crazy big number. Well, that's too much math. That's too well, much math. To go all the way from 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. like it would be moving more, right? Like a couple thousand. Yeah, like a couple of thousand, okay? But that's the type of thing, yeah. That's the type of thing I want you to be thinking about when you're reading these questions. Because, here comes my ACT plug of the day, when you're into the ACT testing, what I tend to find is students understand the math, but when they read the question, they pay no attention to what's being asked for. We're right here, okay, we're okay, I know, false sense of panic again. 
but just getting you to think about things like, well, what if it were the minute hand instead of the hour, and to make you think about that a little bit, okay? So, hard to use, that is a shameless plug for the ACT. Okay, now, they're like, so he didn't do anything wrong? No. What? Yeah, so, now here's the question. I got my degree measure. How do I get the radian? How do I convert degrees into radian? Good looking for those of you at home. I have up on the board how to do this just to see if anybody was paying attention. Okay, 510 degrees times pi over 180 because when we speak in radian language, we want pi in our answer. If I get confused on what multiplies times what, I can turn my degree measure into a fraction. And then multiply across. But the question becomes, does my fraction reduce? Yes. yes. I heard it. Okay. Negative 17 pi over 6. Now, again, if you are wondering, again, where some of this is coming from, a couple of quick reminders from yesterday. When you're trying to reduce, if you're not doing it mentally, you can reduce it in the calculator, but do not use the pi when you're doing it. So if you're like, I just want to take the easy way out, I will just do my fraction button or math enter enter. That'll give you the part, but the pi still has to be included. So that's where it's coming from. And that's where I'd be doing that for that answer. Now I'm going to go past 22 for right now because I want to keep life simple today. All right, 23. Sprinkler rotates at an angle of 45 degrees and reaches a length of 24 feet. Find the area of one that the sprinkler waters. Okay. So from yesterday, we had a formula for this. One half radius squared times the O circle. Times theta, yes. Times the circle, the circle with the line through, yes. So, a couple of things I have to remember. Remember, Theta has to be in radians. Whenever we're using these formulas, you have to get that radian measure. So, what do I know so far? That's true. I know the length of my radius. Because again, when you think about a sprinkler, if you were to draw a picture with a 45 degree angle, it's just going to keep back and forth here. So that 24 is going to end up being my radius. So here then, when I'm trying to get my 45 degrees into radians, it's just like what we just did up above. I over 180, and then of course I want to multiply through and reduce that. So what's that going to look like in its simplified form? One fourth. Okay, one fourth pi or pi over four. So multiply this by pi over four. Now again, some of you are going to look at that and go, "Ooh, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here." So remember, when you're multiplying this out, 24 squared is 576. You may want to make everything a fraction just so you make sure everything lines up at the end. So if I multiply across, what's that? No, because here, remember, my sprinkler, if it's rotating back and forth at a length of 24 feet, that's actually my radius. Yeah, one half radius. Oh, I see what you did. No, you'd have to square it first. I don't think uh, you wanna. I don't think you wanna try and jump in there right away. All right, then my answer's wrong. Yes. Now again, do we normally speak? Well, once we figure out what's 576 divided by eight, I think that goes in evenly. Okay. Now, do you normally go up to someone if they were asking? Well, you know. How much square footage is this going to cover? That would be 72 pi square feet that covers. Yes. No, not really. 
So in this case, if I wanted to be a little more real life type here, so 72, right, probably would be nice to be a little more accurate here. Oops, 226, Hardy. Learn how to read. So most of you do have a pi button somewhere in your calculator. For us here, it's second, second in my okay. caret button. We'll get me pi, so, and then again, we'll just go to the nearest whole square foot. So the radians get me there, then I can use this to be fully accurate. Okay, And that'll actually help you with the two story problems that you're doing, because they're very similar in the way that they're worded. So, before I stop this one and wipe it somewhere, actually, I'm going to, uh oh. So, on the homework, if we're looking at 32 on page 780, they tell us 19 pi over 12, and they want us to draw an angle. You're like, well, you never told us anything about drawing angles with 19 pi over 12. And that's true, because what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this into degrees so it's a little bit easier to play with. So if I do that, calculator in the way, out of the way now. Again, when you're trying to simplify, so 19 times 180 divided by 12 okay, is 285 degrees. So that in reality is the angle that I'm trying to draw. So kind of taking a step back to yesterday then, kind of thinking about this, I'm like, okay, so 90, 180, 270. So it won't make it all the way back around to where 360 would be for a full circle. But it's going to make it past the 270 mark. So once I get there, I go, okay. So I know I'm starting on my positive x-axis, and I'm going counterclockwise. So there's 90, 180, 270, and then I'm going to stop for a second. How many more degrees do I need? 15. So I need another 15 degrees in this quadrant. So I'm going to get lined up here as best as I can with my x and y axis, which is really glary right now. That's better. I'm going to work my way around to where 15 would be, right here between 10 and 20. Kind of let my pen hover. Make a dot where that point would be. Again, seconds as a ruler. It's a double tool. And then I just finish to my terminal side, and that's where my 285 would be. So I just keep using my quadrants to get my major parts, and then the little piece that's left, that's what I'm going to use the protractor for. But anytime you're in something in radians and you want to have it be a little bit more real to you or a little bit more easy to work with, you always can turn it into degrees. And then if you have to do something later, you can always turn it back. Can we do one Well, we'd have to wait for it because I want you to be able to actually try it first. I just try it. I don't get it. I'm going to make other people try it, though, first, too. Especially with having the answer, play with it a little bit. And then we'll look at the story problems a little bit later. Any other of the regular ones from yesterday? Anything basically from 25 up through 66? So they're just following the form. All right, so let me 